And heading now to Britain, the country's top political leaders are wrapping up their last day of campaigning on the eve of what has been described as the closest election in a generation. Voters nationwide will head to polling stations on Thursday, with political watchers anticipating a hung parliament. The two biggest camps, the Conservative Party and the opposition Labour Group, have been neck and neck in polls running up to the highly anticipated vote. Incumbent Prime Minister David Cameron warned that a rival coalition government would hurt the economy. They want to hold the government to ransom, vote by vote, budget by budget, measure by measure, and everyone in this country would pay the bill for that in the form of higher taxes, higher interest rates, and fewer jobs. It's something we've got to stop, and we can if we get those 23 seats. Labour leader Ed Miliband has ruled out the prospect of a coalition with smaller parties that have been playing a growing role in British politics. With no clear winner in sight, Liberal Democrat leader Nick Clegg has said that Britain could be forced to hold a second election before Christmas.